Hi, my name is Mark. I've been making jewelry for about 15 years. I have a small shop in New Mexico where about a quarter of my business comes from custom work. That's my favorite part. Last week, a customer came in looking for an anniversary gift for her husband. After about half an hour, we were still coming up empty. So I asked her about his hobbies. Turns out he's a bird watcher. She mentioned that he'd just spotted a specific rare bird. It was a lifetime goal of his. And I suggested that I could make a custom tie tack or a lapel pin of that bird. And she thought that was a great idea. The problem was that their anniversary was only two days away. They were going out for dinner and she wanted to give him his gift that night. Well, a friend had been telling me about PMC Sterling. So I called her and asked her if she could get me started. The first step, creating a rough model of the shape, is the same as carving wax, but for roughing out the wax, I need rotary burrs and files and time. With the soft clay, it took me less than a minute to form the rough shape I wanted. Then I set the clay aside in a warm spot so it could harden. My friend told me that some people do a lot of the forming while the clay is soft, but I wanted to work with the clay when it had dried, so it was more like carving wax. And I gotta say, I was pretty impressed. This stuff carves at least as easily as wax, and if I take away more than I want, I just press in some fresh clay and I'm back on track. From there, I just followed the rest of the instructions, covering the piece in activated carbon inside a steel pan and firing it. After cooling, I dug out my work, and there it was, pretty much ready to go. I cleaned it with my usual polishing wheels, then soldered a tie tack post onto the back. A final polish and voila! I can't help but compare what I just did to the way I would normally make this piece. The carving time was about the same, but there was no casting process. No need to sprue, tree, cast, clip, and grind. The great thing about it was that I could make exactly what I wanted and do it all in my shop in just a couple of hours. Anyway, you'll have to excuse me. I need to call my customer and make her day. Her husband's gift is ready.